Sustainability at VOPAC At VOPAC, sustainability means generating added value for all our stakeholders without causing unacceptable social or environmental impacts. We are committed to minimizing our energy and water consumption and reducing emissions to soil, air, and surface water. We are also determined to minimize any negative impact on the communities where we operate while maximizing positive impacts wherever possible. The principles we adhere to as part of our responsible care commitment are aligned with our sustainable business strategies and we consider them both vital to VOPAC in the long term. It is vital that we all understand and apply the VOPAC values consistently and act accordingly when conducting business. Living the VOPAC values will contribute heavily to remaining sustainable. This program introduces the concepts of sustainable business and demonstrates how we use our best business practices to remain the premier independent tank storage provider worldwide. Sustainable development is managing our business needs today without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This means living the VOPAC values constantly in our work and focusing priority on three key elements, people, planet, and profit. Excellent people performing admirably is what we strive for daily. VOPAC invests in long-term relationships with employees and offers a work environment that appeals to their talents and skills. Protecting our planet responsibly is achieved through best practices. At present, VOPAC operates storage terminals in 31 countries, involving thousands of people and large plots of land. This brings with it responsibility to our surrounding communities with respect to soil, water, air, energy, and so forth. Profiting means managing cost and capital to benefit our shareholders consistently. Our business operations are geared towards long-term trends. For this and other reasons, VOPAC investments target sustainable activities that ensure profitability for many decades to come. Next, let's examine how our VOPAC values support a sustainable future. The VOPAC values represent the core elements in our business philosophy. They are Professionalism, always striving for the highest standards. Service, our most important product, we always deliver what we promise. Integrity, the basis for lasting relationships. Improvement, through open communication, creativity and continuous assessment of results. Agility, adaptability, flexibility and alertness in order to act rapidly and skillfully. Ownership, to take responsibility and the initiative in the best interest of the customer and the company. Passion, enthusiasm, loyalty and commitment, we believe in what we do. In fulfilling our commitment to sustainability, we utilize the Triple P model of people, planet, and profit and build upon the solid foundation provided by the VOPAC values. VOPAC sustainable management practices are the natural outcome of a solid value base that focuses on the Triple P's daily. Running throughout the VOPAC sustainable business model are three critical threads. Transparency Stakeholder Dialogue And Benchmarking the VOPAC commitment to sustainability includes participating actively in the global marketplace as a responsible corporate citizen through programs such as the Global Reporting Initiative. As a participant in programs such as the Global Reporting Initiative, it is critical that our stakeholders be confident that the data we submit is accurate and verifiable. The key control framework is the VOPAC linchpin that binds the aspects of our sustainability programs and accurate reporting together. Implementation of the key control framework ensures data integrity from its source to the global report during each reporting cycle. When we use the key control framework to measure and report the right things right, we will meet our stakeholders' expectations for transparency. Now, we will further examine each of the triple P's in our global sustainability commitments. Let's start with people. VOPAC invests in long-term relationships with our employees. Critical focus points include job satisfaction, personal development, competitive terms of employment, and a good balance between work and private life. An entrepreneurial culture is one of our distinctive features. It is characterized by inclusiveness, clear target setting and performance management, as well as by informal and open interactions among our work groups. Retaining and augmenting positive cultural elements is vital in view of the further worldwide professionalization at VOPAC. 
At VOPAC, we see it as our responsibility to provide safe and healthy workplaces. Continuously improving working conditions and monitoring the effectiveness of controls are crucial to our health and safety policy. Using the VOPAC fundamentals plus on safety as a core principle, safety and health is everyone's responsibility and we expect every employee to contribute to their own safety and that of others. VOPAC conducts regular global employee engagement surveys. The aim of these surveys is to gain insights into the level of engagement, satisfaction, pride and retention within VOPAC. The results of the latest survey revealed a very high level of engagement and enthusiasm among the workforce. Additionally, we have embraced the Organizational Culture and Developmental Index Survey process to measure cultural elements in our workplaces. This allows us to target improvement in the less technical areas of safety and health performance. As a company we want to grow, for this reason we need to employ motivated and passionate people. To achieve this, we aim to further improve the quality of our employees through systematic coaching and training. It is very important for VOPAC to be able to depend on having the right talented and passionate employees in the right positions in the organization. VOPAC believes that an organization that embraces employees, suppliers and contractors who are competent, engaged and efficient will produce a climate of exceptional customer focus. People are a critical element for sustainability. Turning our attention to the next P, we will discuss planet. We are standardizing our approach at a global level and mapping out the impact our operations may have on the environment. This will help us address how to minimize our impact on the planet's natural systems. The following examples illustrate practices being actively utilized and researched to improve understanding of our impact on the environment. Clean water management is an important responsibility. VOPAC aims to have closed water balances on each of its terminals by 2015. For this reason VOPAC has committed itself to conducting an assessment of its water care systems at all terminals. The objective is to make a clear distinction between flows of good quality water, such as rainwater or well water, and process water. The principle is that clean water should remain clean and not be mixed with process water, while process water will be treated in a water treatment plant or disposed of properly. Clean air is a critical issue for both communities and the entire planet. At terminals where hazardous air pollutants are handled, airborne releases of contaminants that damage the ozone layer or might be toxic to people or wildlife are eliminated or reduced using techniques such as carbon bed absorption or flare combustion. These techniques are critical to ensuring that we control our emissions to as low as reasonable practicable. Energy efficiency has an impact not only on the planet, but also on the cost to our customers. As such, Energy management is a critical focus in VOPAC. Utility information such as electrical usage, natural gas consumption, fuel oil burned, and so on are being collected and tracked to identify areas for targeted improvement. Energy conservation projects are being undertaken at almost every location even as simple as lighting upgrades to newer, higher output bulbs. Alternative Lower environmental impact energy sources are being tested and implemented such as wind power and solar energy. We consistently adhere to guidelines set out in operating licenses, legislation, and our own global standards. VOPAC also acknowledges that taking measures aimed at curbing emissions may sometimes be in conflict with energy consumption, as some environmental measures require the use of energy. We aim to strike the right balance in this respect. Protecting our planet for future generations makes sense. Ensuring that VOPAC remains a viable entity into the future also requires us to consider the next P, profit. Stakeholders increasingly judge a company on whether it conforms to principles of sustainable entrepreneurship not just the bottom line. Besides generating financial profits to enable the business to continue as a going concern, Sustainable operations also generate non-financial benefits and enable the company to distinguish itself from the competition. VOPAC operates 84 terminals in 31 countries representing 187 million barrels of storage capacity, import-export pipelines, and countless product movement transactions. Products handled include, petroleum substances, gases, chemicals, vegetable oils, and others. Tools such as investments, 
operating efficiency improvements, maintenance, and highly sophisticated storage and transfer techniques contribute to the ongoing availability of storage capacity, while also making our operations more sustainable. Programs aimed at reducing our consumption of energy, conserving natural resources, and reducing emissions will result in better business in the long term. Significant factors identified as associated with financial sustainability at VOPAC are, economic performance, sustainable finance, economic values, benefit plans, customer satisfaction, grants received, and innovation. Our strategic finance policy focuses on ensuring flexible access to various capital markets and funding sources to support our growth strategy, facilitating a continuous balanced and well-spread debt maturity profile at appropriate terms and conditions that match our solid credit quality. This was a brief overview of the Triple P's and their relationship with Invopac. Moving on, we will explore the three threads of sustainability management, transparency, stakeholder dialogue, and benchmarking. The first of these items is transparency. Worldwide, the principle of what is measured is what gets done has become more and more applied to businesses and their relationship with the surrounding communities. Measuring our performance on sustainability issues is one of the first steps to ensuring that we maintain our existing best practices as well as targeting our direction for innovation. VOPAC wants its sustainability policy, ambitions, and results to be transparent to all stakeholders. In order to accomplish this ambition, VOPAC reports on performance in the area of sustainability aligned with the sustainability reporting guidelines of the Global Reporting Initiative. The aim of external reporting is to inform stakeholders of our performance and improvements. This has two advantages. First, it demonstrates transparency and credibility in the way VOPAC manages its ongoing sustainability. Second, it engages in a dialogue with stakeholders and the community in which VOPAC operates, helping the organization to gain insights into and improve performance in the area of sustainability. Our interpretation of people, planet, and profit, along with our acknowledgement of their interdependence are being measured on selected key performance indicators that we report on. The indicators address economic, environmental, and social performance areas. We are convinced that applying the principles of sustainable entrepreneurship will result in high-quality services without undue social and environmental impacts. VOPAC has continuously improved the reporting transparency of sustainability practices. In 2009, we reported 15 data points. 21 points were covered in 2011. 2012 will see VOPAC report 27 data points to the Global Reporting Initiative. With this increase, our transparency score has increased consistently and currently stands at B+. We have asked an external audit firm to provide review of the information in our recent reports. While these reviews have confirmed our transparency grade and verified sound internal reporting policy, some issues have been identified for improvement. Examples of these include, minor errors in data validation, slight mismatches between internal and external definitions, and the use of estimated data in some locations. The most significant finding in our current focus is application of a more rigid internal data certification process. This key control framework, when implemented, should improve data accuracy at each management level to improve our disclosure. Transparency is critical to ensure that our stakeholders including the global community and our shareholders buy into our long-term sustainability. The next element reviews a few of our communication practices that maintain an active stakeholder dialogue. Sustainability management enables VOPAC to measure, manage, and report on the Triple P indicators, which relate to people, social, planet, environmental, and profit, economic. This allows us to set business strategies that reduce risks and increase shareholder value. Daily contacts occur when customers, suppliers, and employees communicate to share important information. Contractors supplying construction, maintenance, and other services are interacted with daily. Constant communications are published through webcasts and our website. We maintain regular contacts with neighbors, authorities, and investors. Various audits are undertaken internally, by our customers, and by various authorities. These audits aim to assure control for internal purposes, 
confirm the integrity of our terminals and processes, and pre-assess implementation plans. We also organize around 300 individual meetings, presentations, roadshows, and other events per year enabling us to demonstrate our aim to be transparent towards all these target groups. Less frequent contacts are made with a wide variety of stakeholders including our neighbors, non-governmental organizations, sustainability organizations, and ministries in the countries in which we operate. Most if not all terminals maintain regular or annual social events to involve employee and retiree families. Besides maintaining direct contacts with these stakeholders, we undertake various surveys throughout the year. The aim of these investor, employee, and customer satisfaction surveys is to verify the implementation of the suggestions, comments, and recommendations we have received at both operational and policy levels. Keeping the lines of communication open is very important and can be an easy opening for our next topic, benchmarking. VOPAC participates in multiple global, regional, and industry-specific benchmarking activities each year. Participation in such benchmark studies provides us with valuable feedback and information regarding our performance in the areas of people, planet, and profit. Benchmarking with our peers is necessary to provide a perspective that makes the data points relevant. Benchmarking and comparing data with a peer organization is always difficult. Some data points must be normalized to account for the overall scale of operations for example, comparing the total number of spills as opposed to comparing the number of spills for every 100 product transfers. Geographical and political factors such as regulatory definitions can complicate comparison for example, there is no direct equivalent to an OSHA recordable injury in the United Kingdom. Across industries, exposures to inherent risks be they safety, environmental, or business vary widely and are difficult to correlate for example, comparing safety performance at a storage terminal against a plant where chemical substances are manufactured. These are just a few examples of why benchmarking must be done with a very flexible approach and open mind if the results are to have any meaning. Despite all the potential pitfalls of benchmarking, it remains the best way for us to truly compare how we perform as a responsible corporate citizen among the field of our peers or other businesses. From benchmarking, we learn the areas that are our strengths, to continue to reinforce, and the areas that are our weaknesses, to examine and improve upon. In terms of overall benchmarking, the 2011 Sustainability Report points towards Strengths Indiana, Safety and Health, our Code of Conduct, Climate Strategy, Fuel Efficiency, and a robust customer relationship management process. Likewise, our benchmarking indicates areas for evaluation and improvement as, tracking community involvement, completing more skill mapping, establishing a clear global SHNE plan, improving water and waste management, management of our supply chain, and improving reporting of financial innovations. VOPAC is committed to improvement based upon all sources of input and there are improvement projects underway in all the areas identified as weaknesses in the recent benchmarks. We have touched upon the triple P's and the three threads of sustainable business management. So, how have we gotten here and where are we going with sustainable management? At VOPAC we thought carefully about our sustainability implementation and defined a three-phase plan that began in 2009. For this reason, we have a solid sustainability strategy that has become an ongoing business tool. This sustainability strategy will continue to evolve as needed to help guide us to a future where our people help protect our planet so that we all profit from our sustainable business. The VOPAC Sustainability Strategy Phase 1 Defining basic processes was completed in 2009. This phase included, defining the VOPAC sustainability policy in a mission statement and establishing short-term targets, preparing an internal data reporting manual, and developing a step-by-step -step implementation plan. Phase 2, embedding policies was finished in 2011, and consisted of, implementing the VOPAC sustainability policy in our measurement systems, and expanding the data reported through the Global Reporting Initiative. Phase 3, Realizing Our Ambitions is ongoing in 2012 and beyond. Elements of ongoing activities include, rolling out the finalized strategy worldwide, implementing the key control framework to optimize the completeness and reliability of the data reporting, 
and improving reporting based on GRI guidelines. We have defined specific ambitions for the planet in 2012. They are to measure the water and waste data from all our terminals so that new targets can be set. To achieve closed water balances on each of our terminals by 2015. To conduct at least two feasibility studies for alternative green energy sources, and to extend the alternative energy study to all the VOPAC terminals and have a complete overview of all our options in 2013. VOPAC remains committed to the principles set out in the Responsible Care Program from the American Chemistry Council. We view our sustainable business practices are interlocking with the responsible care management practices we have adopted. VOPAC is making good progress in achieving the objectives set out in the original implementation plan and timeline. The progress we make is reflected in the annual sustainability reports. Now that you are equipped with an introduction to sustainable business and what it means at VOPAC, it is time to consider your role in sustainability at VOPAC. All employees are responsible for contributing to our sustainability daily. This means living the VOPAC values and using them to guide our decision making. Daily decisions must also take into account the triple P's. First, we value having the most talented and skilled people in our industry who work safely, follow procedures, and report deviations quickly. Second, each of us uses best management practices to protect our planet's natural resources by preventing pollution, reducing environmental impact, and using energy as efficiently as possible. Third, we do all these things in a cost-conscious and financially responsible manner to ensure our business profits our shareholders. To ensure sustainability, reporting transparency is required by the key control framework, sustainability information must always be certified as accurate and verifiable at the time of submission to the next level of management. Regional management is responsible to ensure that all employees are provided with skill training, tools, and other resources required to fulfill their duties in a safe and sustainable manner. Transparency requires data certification and stakeholder dialogue occurs with local and community groups. Division management is responsible to ensure adequate resources and technical support are available for the regions to implement sustainable practices. First, transparency means aggregating and verifying regional data submitted. Second, stakeholder dialogue is fulfilled not on a local level, but more likely by participating in conferences and trade shows and interacting with special interest groups. Third, benchmarking is often conducted at the division level with our peers in industry. Global management maintains the overall and ultimate responsibility for our participation in the global marketplace as a responsible corporate citizen. This includes defining VOPAC policy on sustainability and leading the implementation worldwide. Global management sets the expectation and leads the way for us to follow. To manage sustainability reporting, two more specific roles are subject matter experts and sustainability coordinators. Subject matter experts are directly associated with the data we report through organizations such as the Global Reporting Initiative. Typically these are technical functions such as safety and health or engineering, but they can also include others. Data points include many topics a few examples are, injuries, electricity usage, and disability cases. It is the responsibility of these individuals to ensure that the data is accurate, submitted on time, and verifiable for future audits as required by the key control framework. Sustainability coordinators exist at each level. The sustainability coordinator ensures data is submitted, verified, and certified at their level. This includes tracking each data point to identify changes over 10% in any reporting period. Such a change requires investigation and documentation. The sustainability coordinator works with their certifying manager to ensure that appropriate certification is completed in accordance with the key control framework. To ensure that we profit by investing in excellent people who protect our planet we must each choose to support a sustainable VOPAC by living the VOPAC values and remembering the triple P's in our daily work. Thank you for contributing to the VOPAC commitment to operate in a sustainable and responsible manner. We hope that you have enjoyed this introduction to sustainability at VOPAC. If you have any questions, please address them to your manager or a member of the safety and health staff. 
Please note that the majority of the text in this program originated from the 2011 Royal Vopac Sustainability Report and was then edited and augmented to create this presentation. This program was authored in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Narration was completed using the Microsoft Speech Services platform. The DVD video version of this program was created using the DVD Styler Portable application.